Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The atomic bomb, one of the most devastating weapons ever created, has shaped the course of history and altered the way we perceive warfare. But how does this formidable weapon work? At its core, an atomic bomb harnesses the power of nuclear fission, a process that releases immense amounts of energy by splitting the nuclei of certain atoms. The key to unlocking this power lies in two essential components, enriched uranium or plutonium and a trigger mechanism. First, a critical mass of enriched uranium or plutonium is assembled within the bomb's core. This critical mass is the minimum amount of fissile material required to sustain a chain reaction. Next, the trigger mechanism initiates the chain reaction by either shooting a subcritical mass of fissile material into the core or compressing the core using conventional explosives. Once the chain reaction begins, neutrons released from the splitting atoms collide with nearby nuclei, causing them to split as well, releasing more neutrons and triggering a self-sustaining chain reaction. As this chain reaction progresses, an exponential release of energy occurs, resulting in a massive explosion. The energy released during the fission process manifests in two primary forms, heat and radiation. The intense heat generated by the explosion causes everything within the blast radius to incinerate, while the intense burst of radiation can cause widespread damage to living organisms. The destructive power of an atomic bomb is staggering, capable of leveling entire cities and causing catastrophic loss of life. However, the devastation wrought by atomic bombs extends far beyond the immediate blast zone. The lingering effects of radiation can lead to long-term health consequences for survivors and generations to come. The use of atomic bombs remains a contentious issue, with profound ethical and moral implications. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II serve as enduring reminders of the horrors of nuclear warfare. In the decades since, efforts have been made to prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons and promote disarmament, recognizing the existential threat they pose to humanity. Yet, the specter of nuclear conflict continues to loom large in the collective consciousness, underscoring the importance of diplomacy, cooperation, and global security initiatives. As we strive to build a more peaceful and secure world, it's essential to confront the legacy of the atomic bomb and work towards a future free from the shadow of nuclear annihilation. As of the latest available data, the ranking of countries in possession of atomic bombs is relatively small but significant. The United States and Russia possess the largest arsenals, with estimates of around 6,000 and 6,375 nuclear warheads respectively. Following closely behind are other nuclear-armed states such as China, with approximately 320 warheads, and France and the United Kingdom, each with around 300 warheads. Pakistan and India also possess nuclear weapons, with estimated arsenals of around 160 and 150 warheads respectively. Additionally, Israel is widely believed to have a nuclear arsenal, although the exact number of warheads remains undisclosed. North Korea, while fewer in number, is known to possess nuclear weapons as well, with estimates ranging from 30 to 40 warheads. These rankings underscore the complex geopolitical landscape and the enduring significance of nuclear weapons in international security considerations. Efforts to monitor and regulate the proliferation of nuclear weapons remain a top priority for global security initiatives, aiming to prevent the spread of these destructive capabilities and reduce the risk of nuclear conflict. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.